your limits uh, for time under anesthesia and or quadrants extracted in severe cases, if any? Um, that's a great question, and there's a, there's a couple things that we need to take into consideration in, in, and look at each case individually as we approach each case. So one thing is the patient's safety. The main thing is the patient's safety. So if you follow our recommendations, like we showed you earlier with those videos and keeping the patient really light under anesthesia with nerve blocks, and then you, you, you shouldn't have an issue in the majority of your cases with any extended anesthesia episode as long as those patients are monitored really closely in addition to being that light. So they maintain their perfusion and consequently their uh, body temperature really well as long as you've got external warming devices that are safe that you're using including intravenous fluids that are warmed and, and uh, hot dog warmers or uh, other the other um, bear huggers and things like that, you're, you're good. Uh, but you want to be sure, so as long as everything's okay, you could do a three or four hour procedure and be perfectly comfortable if you are. So that brings in the other factor. Are you comfortable sitting there and are you effective sitting there for three hours or four hours to complete a full mouth extraction on a uh, you know, 10 pound, 10 year old perio case that requires multiple extractions, if not full mouth. So if you start to fatigue and you get slow and your, your mind starts to wander and you're not, you're not in there and you're not in a flow, it might be better to do half of the, the procedure one day, get the patient up and get the patient back in another day. If you are particularly not efficient uh, in your extractions, if it takes you a long time to do a quadrant, let's say it takes you uh, consistently an hour and a half to do a quadrant, full quadrant extraction in a perio case, that would not be uh, something that you definitely want to sit down for six hours and, and do. So uh, I would forewarn the owner and let them know that, hey, this, uh, this is going to take a little bit longer than the regular patients that we see, and we're going to want to make sure that we take this into multiple episodes. Also, if you are taking an hour and a half in your quadrant extractions, <clears throat> taking it one step further, additional training is definitely something that you want to encounter. And uh, again, we talked about our courses uh, that we treat, that we teach specifically uh, in lab how to do these extractions that you're getting in the online course uh, succinctly if you need additional help. So that, that surgical extraction course will definitely get your speed up tremendously, get your technique down if you follow all the things in that seven hour course and all of the resources. Uh, so that will help if, if any of you are in that category where it takes you a long time to do extractions. <clears throat> but for the most part, if you are comfortable with it and the patient's okay to answer your question uh, in, in a short answer, um, it, it's fine to do multiple procedures or if you're comfortable doing four hours, certainly that's fine.